everyone. Welcome to the YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Emily. Today we're going dark, unfortunately. I'm going to talk about cancel culture today. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, so, cancel culture is something the right seems to love to rebel against, even though they do it themselves. But it's generally seen as a left-wing-ish sort of action to change the world to be a nicer place, in my opinion. So, I'm usually someone who has very much live and let live attitude. I don't need you to like me, I just need you to be respectful towards me. In the same way that I don't need to like you, but it's not okay for me to be a dick to you, right? Simple, I think. Um, well, for those of you who recognise the costume, this is a Pupitons uniform from Harry Potter and the Chamber... I was going to say Cham Chamber of Secrets, that I know. Goblet of Fire. And this is a costume I've had for... Close to... No. Two years now. Um, yeah. Close to two years. And I've worn it. This is my, my second time actually in the, in the costume. Now, I think that's a real shame because it's a lovely dress. Um, it... You know, it is, yeah. It's a bit tight, so I put some weight on the last two years, but oh well. Um, but, yeah, my, because of my values, because I think that the, the, the creator of Harry Potter is, you know, not acting very nicely towards people like me, I can't, or I don't want to, I should say, uh, wear this to, to, to cons, to cosplay meets, that kind of thing. Um, because that's how cancel culture works to me. We, you know, you, you or which person inherently in this situation does something the rest of us don't like, we stop buying which person's things, therefore they become poorer or they get less income, they want to have more income, therefore they become a nicer person, in effect, right? Um, and yeah. That for me kind of sucks because, on a personal note, obviously I'm trans and I just want to live and not live. You know, a lot of people can't seem to understand that concept, but it's, you know, not not too hard, I don't think. But, um, you know, there are people out there who don't want that. But like, for me, if we just look at me as Emily, entertainment person, you know, a person who likes watching films, I struggle with sort of fantasy films in general because I have, there's no frame of reference there, right? Um, something like Lord of the Rings. I've never met an elf. But I have been at King's Cross Station quite a lot. And I'm going to be there on Saturday. Um, and that's my sort of thing with it is, I absolutely love Harry Potter as a franchise. I think it's brilliantly written. I think J.K. J.K. Rowling is very talented. However, just don't think she's a very nice person and until either she changes who she is or how she acts I should say or Harry Potter becomes someone else you know she, she's bought out it fully and it's no longer her, her thing I can't enjoy it anyway I just wanted to do that little thing of dipping into cancel culture how that affects me in a you know not in a yeah screaming way there's a sound bite and a um, meme clip for you. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me on a regular basis. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.